What's going on, everybody, and welcome to episode two of my money making series. Today we are going to be doing the lower tier methods, uh, also the more AFK methods. They will be making less money, though. If you'd like to see a more higher tier methods, you'll have to pay more attention, but they'll also make more money. The there'll be a link in the description below that'll take you to that video that is also on this channel. Let's begin. Okay, so for this method, we're going to be killing Kurasks. It's a fairly new method. Uh, most people know about it. It does, however, require 70 Slayer to do, so most people will be doing it on a Slayer task, but you can just do it as a normal, everyday, just money-making method, if you would like. Now, we're going to be going over the two weapons that I advise killing it with. There's multiple weapons, spells, and arrows that you can kill it with, um, those being the leaf-bladed spear, the leaf-bladed sword, the leaf-bladed battle axe, the broad arrow, the broad bolt, and magic dart. The two we'll be going over is the leaf-bladed battle axe, as you can see on screen, and the leaf-bladed sword. Now, the leaf-bladed battle axe has a lot higher melee strength bonus and a lot higher attack bonus in its respective area, but it does hit slower. So if you're okay with hitting higher but slower, then go with the axe. The axe also costs more and has a s it has the exact same slayer level to use, but it also has a 65 attack level when the leaf bladed sword only has a 50 attack level. But if you have 70 range, you pr you'll probably have these stats, so it, it wouldn't matter. You'll at least have the 55 slayer. So the leaf bladed axe is these are the stats for it. The leaf bladed sword has a bit lower uh, stats, has a lot lower strength bonus, but does hit substantially faster. So I, I normally go with the sword, but just because attack speed is pretty nice, but if you'd like to go with the attack damage, you can do that. Okay, so here's the void setup. Sorry for the fire cave, but it is uh, December 25th and when this is being uh, filmed on Christmas Day, and that Jagex has their little changing a couple things like the tree and the fire capes to have party hats and whatnot to make it nice and Christmas-esque. So, we have the void, we have the leaf bladed sword. Now, if you want the leaf bladed axe, just change this getup, just have the exact same getup, just have the leaf bladed axe instead of the leaf bladed sword. So you have void, the, the sword, dragon boots, berserker ring, preferably eye. If you don't have eye though, that's perfectly fine. Eye you just get from enchanting it at Nightmare Zone. You have the Dragon Defender, you'll have your Fire Cape, and you'll have whatever blessing you want. The blessing doesn't matter. This is a decent method. This will get you a fair... This is pretty good for your Strength Bonus, but if you have... Or your Attack, you need the amount of damage you'll do. This is the better method, unless you want to use Bandos. Uh, but this is a good method. If, however, you find that you're getting hit a little bit too hard, you can always just use Barrows, which all we're doing is we're just changing over for Barrows Gloves, or whatever the best gloves you have, a Combat Bracelet, or whatever. Um, your barrows of your choice. I just picked Torax because it's pretty cheap and it's basically the same stats. Uh, the other sets are better. It's just this just shows for barrows, and then you'll want a net is not helm. So for the inventory, you do not want a spec weapon because obviously you can only attack with leaf bladed uh, melee weapons or the slayer dart or the broad arrows and bolts. So no spec weapon. You'll just want your three potions. You'll want to have some monkfish and some lobsters because you won't, if you're a higher level, you won't take that much damage here, especially if you're bringing bones to peaches. If you have that unlocked, you can use it here, and it is a pretty good method because they do drop 100% bones. So just take the runes for bones to peaches and for high elks. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner, I have the high elks, but not the bones for peaches. So if you do have bones to peaches, take it. If you don't, it's not that big of an issue because the slayer ring does get you pretty close to the entrance to the cave, and then you just simply have to run there, kill them, and just bank every time, and just rinse and repeat. Okay, and here's how you want to get to Karas. You can see that they're at the far left side of the dungeon. Uh, you just want to use your slayering, whatever method you're using to get to the Fremenic Slayer dungeon, and then you just simply want to run there. If you have the agility level, the 62 or the 81, then you can use those gaps. If not, you can just run around, and you can get there. And once you get there, you just kill them until the inventory is full of stuff. Bank, just rinse and repeat. And this is a pretty good money making method. And also fairly AFK. Okay, so some of you might be wondering what like this gear. What is it? Most of you know what I'm what I'm going here. Barrows. Now, you're gonna say, but you have a magic weapon and you have melee armor. Yes, you have a good prayer bonus, which you do need for barrows, but why? You don't need a high magic attack bonus for barrows. 
you actually need no magic attack bonus for Barrows, hence why you'll see people doing it in really heavy armor, where that gives you negative magic bonus, because you don't need the magic bonus. Now, the kite shield is the only thing that really... The body and armor you can upgrade if you'd like to, this just gives you a nice bit of prayer bonus. The ring you can upgrade as well if you'd like to, this just... This isn't really, there isn't really a ring that affects us too much. A ring of life is just, you know, a safety thing. Uh, dragon boots, if you'd like to upgrade that, go for it. Barrow's gloves is the gloves I would recommend, because we're also going to be changing over to melee. The fire cape, again, you don't need any magic bonus, so best melee, melee cape. You're going to be using melee for this as well. Why not use it? Same with the fury. Now, the kite shield, that you can make a... DFS if you'd like to, I just don't have one, so I'm just using the Rune Cat Shield, and really, it doesn't matter, because we're going to be banking so often. We're going to be banking after every single chest, because we're going to be using the Barrow's Teleport on the Archaeus Spellbook. Now, this teleport requires 83 magic, so that is something, but you can use the tabs, just the tabs may cost you about 4k, which, you know, in the previous guide, uh, we actually made the tabs, so if you like to do that, you can. But the spell itself only costs you about 972 GP, plus the tabs to make them, at least, you don't have to use them, uh, but if you're going to make them, you need to have 100% Archaeus Favor. The spell, you'll need to have 60% Archaeus Favor. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can just use the tabs completely, but if you want to make that extra bit more money, just use this just use the spell in the arcade spell book, and it brings you right to the front of barrows. So this is the gear that I'd say you go in. Now we're going to the inventory. Here's the inventory. Now you're gonna say this doesn't really look that good for barrows, and I'm saying exactly because we're banking every single round. The lobsters are just there in case you get like a Darox tunnel and you don't want to use a prayer potion for some reason. When I do this method, I actually don't bring any prayer potions, I just bring lobsters and I just try to out-heat Darox just because I like to, to try and get one hit, I don't know why, uh, but yeah. You just have a couple of lobsters, just that you can heal up if you're in the tunnels and you need to. You have your teleport runes, your one blood, your two souls, your two laws. You're going to have an energy potion, just in case you need to keep running. You're going to have a prayer potion, you're going to have your dragon dagger, your dragon defender, and your whip. Now you're going to be using the ma the mage for the four brothers, the Derek, Guthans, Toregs, and Verok. Those four you're going to be using mage on, and Carols and Arams. You're going to be using your whip and dragon defender and your DDS. Normally how I do it is I go, now this does vary in methods, but how I do it is I go in and I'll do Carols, I'll do two specs on Carols, and then I'll just kill it off with a whip, and then I'll do Arrow, and then I'll do Derox, and I'll, because you want to do Carols, Derox, and Arams while you still have prayer. You're going to do Derox, you're just going to kill off with magic, you're just going to pray melee, kill off with magic. Then you're going to go to Arams, you're going to pray mage, and you're just going to put on your DF, uh, your Dragon Defender, and your spec, drop however many specs you have at that point. By that point, you should either have two or three, depending on how fast the kills were of Carols and Derox. Just use the whip, get the rest, the, just kill it off and just go through the rest of the brothers. Now, if one of those three are your tunnel, y you might have to use some prayer, because on those three you do want to use prayer, because they hit pretty hard. So, if you find them in tunnel, just drink the prayer potion, prayer up, and just do what you do normally, and then just loot the chest. Okay, so in case you're wondering why I didn't say to bring a spade with you, it's because you'll be teleported roughly right there with the teleport, and if you run right over here, there's a spade lying on this table, and on the floor, so you can just pick that up, and you can just do it. Um, normally, I don't even bring a spade with me. I just will run up here, get one, and just go like that. Okay, so here are the six mounts. This one here that I'm standing on is going to be Arams, the mage brothers. You're going to use melee on this one. Same with this one up here, which is Carol's, the range brother or sister. Uh, you're going to use melee on that. These outer four here are going to be the melee brothers. Uh, this one is going to be Derox. This is also the one you're going to want to prey on. These three, you do not really have to prey on. These two, you won't really get hit that hard. This one, you might get hit pretty hard on. Now, one of these six holes, the brother will not be there, and you'll get the you'll be able to enter the crypt through the tomb. Now, once you're in the crypt, I've gotten an image here from Google. Boom! This is what it will look like. You'll come down in one of the four ladder rooms. You'll have to go through the doors. You see how the doors are greens? Now, either 
one of those doors, three of those doors, will be green and one of the ways you won't be able to go. And you basically just have to find your way around. If you're using a, a client like, let's say, Conduit or something, that it'll tell you which doors to go through. But if you're not, you'll just have to click around and see which door gives you the open um, option, and then you just go through that door. Now, the middle four doors here, they will be blocked off. One of the four doors will open, and it'll lead to the chest room. Now, there will be a little puzzle which I will show on screen in a second. And this is another image gotten off of Google. These are the four puzzles you'll get. They'll always be ex one of these four puzzles, and they'll always be the exact same answer. Where the dot, where the, like, the uh, correct answer is, uh, can vary, but these are the four questions and the four answers. So basically, you'll just have to click on whichever one of these is the puzzle that you get, the answer for it. You'll go through the door, you'll go through the next door. You want to get 100% in the top right corner there, there'll be a little bar. If you get that up to 100%, you'll get the most runes and bolt racks and everything. You, this does not affect your chance for an item though. Getting all six brother kills, you can if you're looking for just a specific item, just kill that one brother. It won't give you a better chance at getting an item. It won't give you. The, it doesn't give you the same chance of getting an item as just killing all six. But if you do get an item, it'll be just an item from that one brother. On to the next guy. Okay, so the next three methods are going to be skilling methods. Two of them are going to be mining, and one of them is going to be a magic method. Now, two mining methods are pretty well-known methods, and methods you're probably going to do to 99 either way. So, while you're making money, you might as well do them first of all. As you can see, it's a pretty, pretty packed is your mother load mine. Now, if you have a prospector, you can use that. If not, just use whatever graceful gear you have, whatever your best gear is, while you're grinding up to get the uh, mining gear. Now, you'll mine the paint dirt from any of these white veins that are on the wall. They're all around here. You'll want to have a glory and a ring of wealth. The glory and the ring of wealth will just help you get uh, diamonds, rubies, emeralds, stuff like that. If you have a gem bag, keep the gem bag with you and just do that. You should probably get a gem every time, you, like every round or so. Um, if not, you can just either just not choose to take these or just drop the gems that you get. It's up to you. Once you have your filament of pay dirt, you just want to use it on this. You want to take a hammer from here, just fix these two if they're not running. It'll come down here when your pay dirt is down here. You can do up to, if you do three inventories, every three inventories, if you want to pull it out of here, that's about what you want to do. As if not, then your inventory is going to you have to drop some of the pay dirt to pick it up, bank it, and whatnot. You're going to get nuggets. Now the nuggets you can trade with Prospector Percy over here, and you can buy either your Prospector gear, which is going to give you more mining XP, uh, which is a, and also is part of a Valador task, so it's very good to get. And once you have that, then you can get your coal bag and your gem bag. These two are going to be, your coal bag is going to be very good to get for a, la for a method that's going to be in a different guide, uh, with this the uh, blood, the Wow, the smithing method, uh, the blast furnace, there we go. Um, so that you can just put coal in that, it'll save you a lot of time. The gem bag is also good for a slayer and whatnot. This is just a pretty good method, it gets you a good bit of mining experience, but it also gets you a lot of ores, which is really nice. The higher mining level you are, the better the better ores you're going to get. Uh, the higher mining level you are, just get use the best pick you can. Dragon pick isn't that much. If you can afford the dragon pick, just use the rune pick like this guy's doing, and you'll be perfectly fine. So the next method, also mining method, will be the gem mining. Uh, also another great method to train your mining, so it might as well be done while you're leveling, right? You just basically, once you have Karamja Gloves 3, this works. So until you have those, just use the Mother Load Mine method. Um, you can get the Prospector gear. It will make your mining a little bit faster. And really, why not? You can, if you have the gem bag, this is also a great spot to use it, because you just have to use this deposit chest right here, a little bit less. Basically, you just want to mine. Now, some of the rocks you'll mine pretty fast, some of them you mine pretty slow, but you can get Jade and Opal, but you can get almost anything. I believe you can also get uncut onyxes, but they are like one in a couple million. It's, <laughs> you, pr you don't, don't bank on it basically. But you'll get, if you just bank all of your gems, that's probably, it's not the most efficient way to do it. The most efficient way would just be to drop all your gems in every bank, let's face it. But there's no reason not to if you just drop the opals and the jades and whatnot and just 
keep the, your normal, like your base gems, like your emeralds, your rubies, your sapphires, your diamonds. Bank those. Uh, if you want to, you can just bank all of them, because 28, but by the time you get around here, you should have about 28. You can just bank and just re-go around, and just keep doing that. But you will need Chrome's Diary um, Hard Complete, the third set in it. Uh, so this is a fairly high S method, but it's not really that hard. Okay, and the last method here, um, is pretty, pretty well known, pretty obvious. It's just gonna be your charging your air orbs. And in case you don't know, you're just gonna come to Edgeville. You're gonna want some, uh, rate production gear. I wouldn't say bring your grace vault, just cause you normally don't need it. And you are gonna be in the wilderness. You can be PK depending on what level you are. You're just gonna want a staff of air, a amulet of glory, a ring of dueling, and they said like a spot air cape and boots of lightness, just two things, so it doesn't really matter if you do lose. You're going to want to bring exactly 81 cosmic runes, that gives you all the charges you're going to need for the charge of air orbs. You're going to want 27 unpowered air orbs, you're just going to want to follow the path I'm taking here, and we're just going to climb up here and we're just going to charge the air orbs. Now once you have your air orbs, uh, you can either choose to, if you did decide to bring more weight reduction gear, or however you're doing it, if you're using staminas, just do that. Or how I do it is I'll just teleport using the Ring of Dueling to Clan Wars, just go through the portal, re-energize up there, and then teleport back to Edgeville. You just want to come here, use the spell on the obelisk, and you can basically just AFK, once click all. You can do faster by like clicking on, clicking on this, ba ba ba, and then just doing this, and just repeating blah blah. blah. But you don't need to, you can just AFK it. Thank you everybody for watching this video. This is the second part of my money making guide. This is the lower level methods. Uh, there will be future money making guides which are a little bit more. Oh, they're just going to be they're gonna be better and more in depth than these ones. I know these two haven't been the greatest. Uh, I'm still learning how to do everything. So, hope you guys liked. And see you guys later.